I've always wanted to visit, visit the country. This is my third time in Germany, so I've always wanted to visit uh, the countryside or outside of Berlin. But um, I like it a lot better. It's a little bit more calm than the hustle and bustle of Berlin, I guess. My name's Everett Osceola. I'm from the Seminole Tribe of Florida. Uh, today we're talking a little bit of diversity amongst the Native Americans because I know uh, not only in Germany but different parts of Europe they think uh, Native Americans are one tribe or one language but we are here to show that there are three individuals here from three different tribes and three different histories so we're just showing the diversity amongst the different tribes in North America. We're rich in our culture. Um, not just by wealth, but even before the Hard Rock, we were always rich in our culture. Even before Columbus or Europeans came over to uh, America. But before then, we never knew anything about war. We had to learn really fast and really quick. We had to adapt. Uh, one of the good questions I heard was uh, if we pray. Um, I know a lot of that comes up, but I liked that it comes from children because, you know, you can actually explain a little bit more and uh, they would get it. <laughs> but... Um, that was a really good question because usually it's um, two different worlds when it comes to what we do in North America. Different schools, different set of life when you go outside the reservation sometimes. So that was a really good question to kind of open up to, you know, how not only we're different from each other, um, me, Stacy, and, and Bud, but also how we're kind of, we keep things a little bit different from the outside society. When you're young, um, you're like a sponge, so you take up all the, um, whatever you're taught and it stays with you. Rather when you get as old as I do, like 32, and you hear something and just kind of goes out one ear and out the other. So I think it's really important when you teach the youth because they would, it would stick with them a lot more. Because even later down the road, they're like, or down the road, they would say, you know, oh, I remember I heard this back then. So that's, to me, that's really important. It was the first time that he met. Native Americans zusammenkamen, die bisher immer so etwas Romantisches hatten. Indianer kennen sie aus Filmen und eventuell als Spielzeug, aber sie hatten noch nie Indianer, die eben direkt vor ihnen standen und erzählt haben von ihrer Geschichte. Das war für sie ganz neu und sicher auch sehr spannend. Und ich glaube, man hat zum Schluss gemerkt, als sie bei dem Tanz mit dabei waren, dass ihnen äh, so, eine, ja, ja, so eine Leichtigkeit fehlt und dass sie, das ganz schwer, dass sie sich ganz schwer da fallen lassen können und darauf einlassen können. Aber sie fanden es gut. Ja.